Camera in for Tweak Town. Uh, as you can see, we have a big Leon Lee sign here. Uh, we are at the entrance of their factory in Geelong. It's about a half an hour or so out of Taipei City. Uh, let's go inside and have a look at the production of a Leon Lee chassis. producing a Lian Lee case is taking the aluminium. This is how Lian Lee get the aluminium in, uh, in sheets, just like this. And then they have an NCT machine here. And what this does, it will cut the aluminium into the size they need. And what it will also do is provide, uh, rather put, put the holes and, and, uh, and everything else through the case so what we'll do is we'll let you have a look at this machine. Now we'll move on to the next uh, spot along the uh, assembly line. So what's happening here, this is a, a finished piece that just came off of the machine. Um, so what, what's going to happen now, this looks for, I don't know exactly what case this is for, I, I assume maybe it's a smaller case, judging by these panels. Um, they have a little bit of oil on there as you can see, um, they're going to be cleaned now and then they'll go on to the next part of the assembly line. Okay, so the spot we're at now, um, let me explain it, this lady here, this is a cleaning and drying machine. So these, these parts in here uh, have oil on them. The, the, the reason they have oil on them is the machines that you saw earlier in the video, they require oil on the parts for a smooth transition through the machine. So what this large machine will do here, um, will, uh, it will clean first and then dry and towards the end. The machine we're looking at right now is a laser cutting machine. This is a massive machine, as you can see here. It is, it is used to, uh, with high precision to cut the, the side panels uh, for the case, as you can see here. So it's going to be tough to get in there. I think you can just see it. It's going to be cut, so I think we're about to see this from the start. The machine's coming over. Let's have a look at this. Laser precision uh, cutting of the side panels. process than I thought it might be, but obviously the detail here is incredibly important. You know, this is going to mean that the side panel fits or not. So now we'll move on to the next uh, phase. So here is the finished product of the side panel that we just saw being cut uh, with the laser cutting machine before. So I want to show you the detail on the edges. You can see it's uh, kind of like a saw cut, and that's the effect that Leon Lee is going for uh, for this particular saw panel. Okay, so this is um, more or less a handmade uh, phase of the assembly line here, and this is bending of the uh, fan brackets. Let me show you the type of work that goes in here. There's a lot of actual uh, human labor yeah, going into this, into this, into this design. 
which is something, you know, of course, these days we see less and less of as machines take over and replace the humans in the, in the factory. And we come over here, basically what we can see is the, the finished product of the bending. Plenty of attention to detail as we expect from uh, the handling. So now, as we saw before, we have another bending machine. This lady here um, is bending the top panel of the case. What I wanted to note is that uh, these people doing this work here, these are Taiwanese people, they have been working at Lian Li for a very long time and they know exactly what they're doing with these machines. Um, hence, you know, the visa that can be produced. Um, just looking at the top panels here. So I think this is very interesting. Uh, I doubt you've probably seen a Lian Li case and how it's produced. I'm having a great time so far, but let's, uh, let's keep moving on. Okay, what we're going to see here is uh, one of the panels uh, having uh, holes drilled into uh, the panel where they're required. And uh, obviously this guy's done this a few times. Uh, I didn't set there any markings on that, but he knew exactly where to put it to uh, get uh, hold in the right position. That's pretty incredible. I'm sure he's done it a few times. Let's just have a look at this again. A little bit closer. So what's happening here is this gentleman over here, he's um, applying a screw to an up press onto the back side of the case. Now what I'm going to show you, that's over here, this is the end result. Over here, and you can see, uh, this is what it does. Um, there's a little bit of cleaning of the surface. Um, but that's how some of the screws are uh, applied or, you know, zapped kind of into, into the panel. Okay, uh, I have to talk really loud here, this machine's really loud. What's happening here is sheets of aluminium. Uh, I think this may be some panel of the case, if I'm guessing right. This machine is going to brush the uh, aluminium, so this is a brushing machine. So you put it through here, as you can see. It's going through, and we'll, we'll come to the other side. So you can remember what that looks like. And then let's come over here. And uh, here is uh, the brush. And then, very nice, isn't it? And this is obviously a very important machine because it holds what holds uh, the way and the senses work in the way they do. So now we've made our way to a different uh, section of the factory, and this is for we are the high volume uh, products. These uh, pressing machines are different from the NCC machines we saw before. So the raw material will start here, and then it's being pressed into shape, and now it moves on to the next level. And then coming to here to the next phase. So, so guys, I probably don't need to say it too much because you can sort of see what's happening. Um, I'm going to keep working on the line and hopefully not run into something. Uh, okay, we'll keep coming through, so it's a bit of a delay. So you can see the next stage here. And then coming across more, a little bit of clean going on here. Uh, I think we're going to start again now. Yes, we go into the next phase. I think this is like a holding, a holding phase here. Nothing's actually happening. As it goes along, we send the line. The next line up here. Okay, now we come across. Okay, that was being, uh, that was, uh, being bent into shape. This is the top, this is the top panel of the cable. And then we come over here. 
and now this is finished product from the pressing machine and I'll go in here and we're ready to uh, go for the next two bits to be washed and clean. Uh, one thing I did want to show you is over here, uh, these are the, all the various different moulds uh, for the pressing machine. So they'll just um, use the required one they want for the particular uh, case of the daughter. For example, P60 here. You can see this is the mould uh, for the pressing machine. Okay, this is how the pressing machine here. It's one sheet of aluminium. Uh, and I'm going to apply some uh, oil. Uh, Bang. Press it completely into shape. Now this is actually this is actually the case. This will go to a, this will go to a bending machine, uh, and then and then the side panels will be uh, applied to it. So this is this is another way that now makes makes the case. And this is a huge huge machine that just like applies a lot of pressure and perfectly presses uh, uh, everything into shape that it needs to be. So we have a, a panel here that is, is complete as far as uh, it can be at the moment. Um, so what these, these parts here, uh, they've been packed individually by this lady here. They'll go off to another factory to be uh, anodized. And then uh, what will happen is Zoe will come back to the Leanne Lee factory. They'll be checked by a QC manager, and it's called a quality control manager, and then they will go up to the second floor, like we were before, for the final assembly and uh, shipping. Okay, so we've come to another area here, and um, what Lee and Lee's just told me is that 100% testing of all of the cables, fans, and all the electronic devices that go into their cases. So, uh, this lady here is just preparing, um, I think they are USB header cables, looking at them. Um, each one of them is tested to make sure they work properly before they go in to a Lee and Lee case. Um, and these are the machines that they use to do that. Okay, now what we've found here is a, uh, is a machine that installs all of the various screws automatically. Um, you can see here it's sorting them, and they'll go down in here, they'll go into a plastic bag, and then they'll drop um, down here, and these are the different screws that will come with your case. And it's all done automatically. I imagine that would be a tedious job for someone to do, but uh, the only has figured out a way um, to have a machine do it for them. Okay, we've moved to the second floor of the building, much quieter up here and cooler. Um, these are the front panels of a line cool case um, being put together here. Quite a few people here working together along the line to get everything together. You see. Move along so you can have a look at what's happening. Every part is added along the way, and then at the end, you have something like this. Final check action by this guy, and then uh, it'll be completed. Now we move along to the other side and we proceed uh, through the build of this line for the case. You can see uh, some PC components here, SATA, USB, etc. are being added along the way to the case. Oh, move along so you can see what's happening. Some have been completed here as you can see. Another gentleman here adding various different parts to the front of the case. It's all done by hand, of course. Great attention to detail. And up here, I think this is uh, this is the case um, that we've seen being built. Uh, the final steps. I assume before it is checked and then uh, done up the shipping. So what we're seeing, actually, this is on the second floor. This is the this is the assembly, um, the final assembly. Um, and we saw two different cases being built. Uh, here we have one case that's been completed. Um, the last person on the line, like you can see this person here in the distance, 
they are responsible for checking everything and making sure it's good to go. They'll sign off on it and then they are stored here, as you can see. And then when when they are when they are complete, um, we they will be uh, brought over here. Uh, and this is basically the end of the end of the factory factory line. You can see they're in their boxes and they're ready to be shipped off to uh, various customers around the world.